Sarah from iDesign and today we are going to discuss the BBC Microbit. So first of all, what is the BBC Microbit and what can the small little thing do? Well, it's about the size of a, half the size of a credit card and it acts as a small computer for young students to get started with software and hardware. This tiny computer is very powerful and you can program it for different functionalities based on your inputs and outputs and how you code the program. So let's just give you a rundown of what this BBC Microbit has. So on the front, we have 25 LEDs. So these 25 programmable LEDs can be used to light up different messages or icons on your micro, micro bit BBC. Next on the front, we see two buttons. The button on the left is the A button and the button on the right hand side is the B button. These two programmable buttons can be used to program games or can be used to signal the start of a program, for example. Now on the back, we see here that we have an accelerometer. This is used to detect motion. So whether I move it up and down, side to side, or forwards and backwards, the micro bit can actually detect motion. We also have a built-in compass. So this detects magnets. So you can use this as a, as a compass and you can use it to detect magnets that are nearby the micro bit. It also includes a temperature sensor. So it can actually detect how warm or cold it is in the area where the micro bit BBC is located. There's also an onboard light sensing, so you can detect whether it's dark or light. And this can be used for a variety of different projects as well. We also have a radio and Bluetooth transmitter. So what this can be used for is transmitting between two different BBC micro bits. So I could send a message from my micro bit to my friend's micro bit and it could send and receive messages. Also on the back here, we have the reset button. So just at the top, if we click the button, it'll reset the program. Now if I flip it back to the front here, you'll see five places to input your devices. So you'll see the zero, one, and two, and these are all used for general input. Next we have the 3V and the GND. So this stands for three bolt and ground. So these are used to input items such as batteries or lights, for example, and the ground is used to complete the circuit. So let's see the micro bit in action. I'm going to use my computer and I am going to just hook it up right here in the top of the BBC micro bit. And as soon as you plug it in, you'll see that it lights up. So this program that's already installed on this BBC micro bit is actually, is actually the out of box experience. So when you first receive your BBC micro bit, this is the program that will be pre-installed. So you'll see it says hello, and now it's asking me to press button A. So as we know, button A is just an input that we can use to code and program different, to have different actions occur. And when I press it, it tells the micro bit to run a certain program. So as we can see, it's simply flashing various items uh, on the screen. But now it's asking me to press button B, another input. So if I press button B, the same thing, the LED lights flash, and we go to the next item, which is testing out the accelerometer. So it's asking me to shake the micro bit. And as you can see, the more I shake it, the more lights glow. Next, it will continue to show us the accelerometer and how the tilting function work, works. And I have to chase the dot. So as you'll see in a moment, there'll be one dot and I have to move my micro bit to move my specific dot to reach that top dot. And as soon as you get it, there's another dot that comes. There we go. And you just have to keep moving it around just to show you the motion of the micro bit. So the best way to get started is to use make code. So you can simply ac access this using your browser going to makecode.microbit.org. I highly recommend you go to the Microbit Education Foundation YouTube channel where it describes each of the items on this micro bit in more detail. Until next time.